pressure, 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 isn't it, at the moment? So far, they've dealt with it. How much longer can they do it if it's this intense? And there we tell the story again. Nothing for Swindon. Well on top. There's the corner kick. It goes a long way there, and surely a goal. It is by Robinson. He did it in the semi-final. Now he's done it in the final. And Millwall ahead with one of their longest-serving stalwarts, Paul Robinson. Well, we said, how much longer can they hold out with this sort of pressure? Not very long. This is where they've been strong. The ball's delivered in there. They've won most of the balls in the air. This time, they don't win it, but Robinson's on hand. It was a flick off a Swindon head here. There, doesn't matter. The quality was that good. And Robinson... Oh, look at this for a finish. There, doesn't come off a, a Millwall head. He gets a bit of luck, hits his midriff. He's in the right place, right time. Gets luck, that's not luck. Still has to finish it. Finishes it with a plum, just like a striker. But they deserve it. The pressure's been intense. And Swindon have struggled to cope. Doing a Millwall career mode. A club with a lot of controversy for their actions on and off the pitch. But let's hope that we can turn this club around and bring them to the Premier League for the first ever time. My name is The Gaming Blake. This is the first video on my channel. So welcome. Drop a little sub if you enjoy what you see. Leave us a like if you also want to see this carry on. If not, then leave a dislike and tell me why. Be sure to comment because comments are vital in these early stages. And I want you guys to get involved. I don't want this just to be my career mode. I want this to be your career mode as well. Um, so without further ado, let's get into this. Millwall, a club known for their hooliganism off the pitch as fans. Which I guess in a way is stereotypical, but it's not because we live up to that stereotype majority of the time. I'm not a Millwall fug myself but i am a very passionate man when it comes to the team i care for Millwall a lot and i'm really upset that the actions off the pitch detract from what Millwall actually can do on the pitch you've seen probably seen some clips if my editing skills haven't failed me that showed what Millwall can achieve in in their careers and what they also fail to achieve which is of course premier league status which is what we're going to hope to do so what i'm going to do i'm going to load in you guys don't need to see any of this i'm just going to do my name blake austin and we're going to load into the career mode and get started with transfers and looking at the squad and yeah let's begin the journey and we are in now loading has finally finished and we now have to choose a pre-season tournament which one has the most cash this one in the middle they're all the same star difficulty two and a half this one obviously paying more in the European International Cup. So let's jump into that. I'm probably not going to play pre-season. But I might try it. Because I need to have a feel for the team. I'll decide that at a later date. But first let's have a look. At what needs to be achieved. This season. Uh, that's our European International Cup confirmation. Round of 32 in a cup. It would be nice to have a cup run. Not the priority. The priority is obviously the league. Transfer market information is important. We should look for a wide midfielder. Now, I'm kind of on the fence about this because Mill will actually do have a lot of decent wide midfielders. I will show you who they are in a moment. I will show you the whole squad. I'll give you a rundown. Get rid of these and they're not important. The objective for this league campaign will to... Will, if I can speak English. The objective for this league campaign will be to gain automatic promotion, which is definitely achievable. We're a squad with decent funds for a League One side. We have 1.8 million there. And um, only 10k wages, which isn't helpful at all. But anyway, so let's quickly jump in and get a rundown of what the squad is looking like. Goalkeeping situation. This is a difficult one. We have David Ford, who I love to pieces, a legend of the club. But he's ageing. He'll probably retire soon. And I guess he could be a decent keeper. But he's not the first team keeper for Millwall anymore. This guy has earned his spot as the first team keeper. 22-year-old Jordan Archer, who they finally given an, a ratings upgrade to. Last year he was in the 50s. Hopefully they've given him some potential as well. This kid is amazing. Trust me when I tell you that. I don't know what we're going to do with him. Because I don't know if he has potential in the game. But we'll mess around with him and see what we have. And we have two backup keepers who we're probably going to send out on loan. Defensive options. Mark Beavers, the leader of men, are going to be a fantastic addition to this squad. And I have a feeling that we're going to have to 
extend his contract because it is expiring. Probably going to have to do that before someone swipes him up on the deal. Tony Craig, another fantastic player, a real legend who we brought back this year. Uh, had an okay season. Uh, probably not looking for a long-term picture with him. We have a bunch of our youngsters here. Uh, no one really of interest. Byron Webster, another debatable player at Millwall. Uh, contract expiring. I might see out that contract and see how I feel. But he is another solid player. And of course, every silver counts in this team. Because that will be the highest rated player in the squad. Uh, we have another couple of young centre-backs there. Who else do we have? Two left-backs in Chesmaine and Joel Martin. I like Joel Martin, but I don't see him as a first-team left-back, so we might have to look into one of them. Right-backs. We have some decent options. Ah, oh, this is currently who we favour at right-back right now. Marlon, I think that's how you pronounce it. Marlon Romeo, who has been unjustly abused with his rating. We'll have to see what we can do about that. But we do have uh, Carlos Edwards and... Sean Cummings as our options. Might sell one of them, but otherwise we've got some decent right-back options. We're looking into the middle of the park now, and we've got some of my favourite players here. Sean Williams, fantastic player. Jimmy Abdu, club legend. Jack Powell, another growing prospect in Millwall's ranks. I wonder if they said that there. No, contract expiring again. And Millwall's young player of the year, Ben Thompson. It would be a crime not to keep him, despite his... <laughs> shambolically low rating we have to keep him in the squad and try and see if we can do something with him maybe grow him in ratings but that's really disappointing I'm really disappointed with Mills ratings uh, let's have a look at the wide midfielders then see I don't know what they're talking about here because we have Shane Ferguson a fantastic player Northern Ireland he's playing for right now in the Euros he hasn't had the best of starts but he's there and he's present and he's playing really well for Millwall then we also have Ed Upson, who I prefer in the central midfield personally, but he has got fantastic stats himself. He's going to be a fantastic addition. Fred Oyedema, Mill was probably the most promising prospect. He's a fantastic young player. Very, very pacey, as you can see from his acceleration and sprint speed there. I think he'll be a good addition. And then, of course, we have Chris Taylor starting over him on a one-year deal, apparently, which I don't know is necessarily the case. But he'll definitely be looking to stay in the squad, so I'm not looking at that. Strikers, this is where it gets complicated because Lee Gregory was one of the highest scorers in the league last season. He's gone up in rating 66. Um, we obviously got him from the Conference League side, Halifax Town, and he's just been a fantastic addition to the team. I have to keep him, I feel. Steve Morrison, club legend, not looking in the long-term picture, though, but I want to see how he plays because... Morrison and Gregory are a lethal combination, a very huge goal total together. Aiden O'Brien, another player coming in through the ranks, and it's the first person I've seen has that something special. Ha definitely going to have to keep him. He is flexible with positioning, definitely going to keep him. And Phil Pot, who I'm not sure on at all. So that is the squad. I know some areas where I feel we need to improve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up with a list of potential targets, try and get some players in. And I will let you guys know what I find. And also, if anything else comes up, I will show you guys. Okay, so the first player I'm looking to bring in is a goalkeeper. Who, of course, is probably one of the most famous young goalkeepers right now. 16-year-old Gianluigi Donnarumma. A fantastic goalkeeper at AC Milan. I'm not sure what they're going to say about this. But it's worth inquiring at least. And that's a, a decent start to look at for a player in goal. So I'm looking through the transfer list and I also see this guy as a keeper in option, Paolo Gazzaniga. He's valued at seven, uh, three quarters of a mil. I'm going to offer for a starting offer 400k and let's see what they say to that deal. He could be a decent prospect or, or addition to the Millwall side from Southampton, 23 years old. He could be a decent signing. OK, so I'm just going to show you guys the training uh, that I'm going to be putting on people. So we've got Aiden O'Brien, Fredo Edema, Ben Thompson, Jordan Archer, and Sid Nelson. Five players who I think really have the potential to grow because either they're young or they are already first team in Millwall and they're just not being appreciated in FIFA. That's decent for first training. Two A's, a B, and two D's. It's not too great, but it's it's a decent start. Uh, so I'm just going to show you anything that happens before the first game. And we are going to play the first friendly. And that's how I'm going to end the episode. I'm not going to play the rest of the tournament now. So our inquiry about Donnarumma 
He has recently joined Milan and they're not interested. I'm not interested in loans. Loans aren't my thing. And they reckon that the offer was too low for Gazzaniga. So I think he's going to be the number one target. Um, we're going to go with 500k and see what they have to say to that. We just I don't want to waste all of my money. If the budget isn't the nicest, we're going to see what we can work with. Another player we're going to inquire into is young Englishman Adam Armstrong, currently at Coventry City. I feel he could be a nice addition. We're also going to look at Rakish Bingham. I think we're going to scout him a bit more before we do anything with him, but he'd be decent. And also Naki Wells, who I absolutely love in real life. He's a fantastic addition to the team as well. As you can see, we've just done some scouting with them. I'm going to scout these players further and see whether I particularly feel they will fit into the squad. Okay, so the first actual good inquiry, uh, we have 1.8 mil for Adam Armstrong. That's a lot of money. I don't feel like that's realistic. Uh, Bingham just recently joined, not interested in loans. 1.7 mil for Naki Wells. How is Adam Armstrong worth more than Naki Wells? That doesn't make any sense to me. All right, we're going to offer them both 1 million deals because I'm not interested in spending more than a mil on either of them. But they are two players who are very promising and highly regarded at their clubs, quite clearly, by their huge price tags. So we're going to see what they say about that. But it looks like we're not going to sign anyone before the first preseason friendly. Okay, guys, so we've got the first preseason coming up. This is the lineup I'm going to go with. We're going with Jordan Archer in goal, Beavers and Webster providing depth in the centre back position. Marlon Romeo starting at right back, and we have Joel Martin at left back. Left midfield, Shane Ferguson with Williams and Ben Thompson starting in the midfield. And then with Taylor, obviously, on the right midfield. And the striking partnership that is Gregory Morrison. I've started what I think will be my first team for the season. I'm not 100% sure. I want to try some players out, see what's lacking, what isn't. We're playing on legendary difficulty, if you weren't sure. Just a quick look at the subs there. And... Without further ado, we're going to jump into this first game for the career mode and let's see what Millwall are capable of. <clears throat> and here we are, the first preseason of the tournament. It's going to be an interesting one to see, but we need to hope and pray that we get good results from this. And let's hope here at the Amsterdam Arena that Millwall can get their first win under new management. Get rid of that. Solid header, Shane Ferguson. Right, let's fuck counter-attack, let's go. Morrison, ah, oh, spots Lee Gregory beautifully. What a touchdown as well. Come on, oh, come on, this is a good chance. Come on, let's do this. Lee Gregory with the first shot of the game, and it's a goal. What a start to the career mode live here at the Amsterdam Arena. Mill lead 1 0 to none other than Lee Gregory, the scorer. What a ball from Morrison. A great touchdown from Lee Gregory. He cuts inside beautifully, and with the first shot of the career mode, we get our first goal it's a very nice one for Lee Gregory who I'm, I was hoping would be good they've upgraded him to a silver now and deservedly so for the season he's had and that is how you get things started Millwall fans celebrate no hooliganism there <laughs> thank you very much FIFA and Lee Gregory it's the first goal of the competition it is 1-0 to Millwall all right free kick here we're gonna whip it in back post with Mark Beavers it seems a decent ball looking for Byron Webster a bit short. Oh, well tackled Romeo. Come on. It's a good play. Williams. Thompson. Just lays it off to Morrison. Oh, spots Martin on the inside and it's 2 0. A second shot. A second goal. And it's Joel Martin who was up for the three kick. Who's managed to convert it off the assist from Morrison. That's two assists for Morrison now. That's another fantastic finish as he runs for the camera. Look at this. Great build up by Williams to Thompson. To Thompson to Morrison. Morrison. Martin who slides in and somehow manages to get that around the keeper. It's such a hard shot, that one. That is another nice finish. What a start. I didn't think in 20 minutes that Millwall would be 2-0 up. And it is Joel Martin with the first goal of the campaign for him. 2-0 to Millwall. Oh, great strength from Morrison there. Come on. No way are we going to make it 3-0 in a matter of minutes. No, that's poor. Oh, I touch that down. Williams has a strike. Oh, it's not too far off. I think that's the first shot we've actually missed there. It's a decent strike from Williams. He's got that kind of power in him there. I thought, why not? We're off to such a good start here. I honestly wasn't expecting in 25 minutes to have a 2-0 lead. 
Oh no, that's weight. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, he just walked past the whole defence and got a shot away there. Archer rushed way too quickly off his line. And that that's poor decision there to come off the line. And that's poor defending. What was that? Well done, Shane Ferguson. Well won. Right, what can we do from here? Shane Ferguson is running inside. It's a lovely little run. Oh, the space has opened up for Chris Taylor. He's got to finish the surely. Oh, a little soft for my liking, but it is 3-0 to Mill. Another fantastic finish. Another run to the camera. It's Chris Taylor, Mill, uh, taking a free to lead up at half-time. This is incredible. I cannot believe how well we have played. Shot was a little soft. If anything, it made it look even better. That's a great finish there. That's great play from Shane Ferguson as well. He made that attack possible. Did all the hard work. Did all the hard work. And that's a fantastic finish from Millwall. Millwall go 3-0 up. Ben Thompson. Ben Thompson, stay strong, son. Oh, the speed of Ben Thompson wins it back. Oh no, that's not good. That's not a good clearance though. And now we're in trouble. Oh, he spins off Joel Martin. Good save from Archer. That was a low shot there. It was pretty weak, but he's got a good save on it. The danger's not gone. Oh my days. Oh, ho, ho. that was their first dangerous attack. They come up strong in the second half. Archer looked like he had it covered though. That was going on target. He made the first initial save. Poor defensive work there. Sparking from Ben Thompson's mistake, which I probably won't show that far back. But that was a serious mistake there. We shouldn't be making them kind of mistakes. Switch the play. Oh, you deem Oh, that's a lovely little thing. I love the way that we're playing right now. This is really good passing football. Upson. Nice through ball to Shane Ferguson. Oh, no. And Shane Ferguson's caught out of position as well. This is not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Oh, no. And now there's a huge gap which I can't get to. Save that! Great save, Archer! Oh, he's gone out and saved it again, I think. Is that a corner? I'm not sure. That's a fantastic save from Jordan Archer, though. The 62 rated. 22, was he? I'm pretty sure he was 22 years old. What's that? Oh, it's a goal kick. He's drifted wide. Well done there from Jordan Archer to come out and collect that. And that way, we don't get pal. Oh, can we get an interception? Oh, Shane Ferguson has fouled him. Oh, yeah. They have really got to stop taking their shots first time because they are not good at it. They've had some great chances in this first, second half. They are killing Oh, that's a great ball. Shane Ferguson's caught out of position. I don't think I like him at left back. That's a great save. Oh, my God. And he's missed the open net. Or is it a corner? Is it a corner from... Because it looks like Tony Gagg got a deflection. He did. Oh my god, I wish I could have seen the replay. I might replay that in a second. Oh my days, Jordan Archer is a beast. Go on, jump that. Oh, go on. Full time, all the goals in the first half. It finished 3 0. A fantastic result for me all here at the Amsterdam Arena, home of Ajax, I think. And that is a fantastic start. The team has celebrated a well earned victory. The second half, we played really, really sloppy. And if it weren't for some great saves from Jordan Archer, we could have been in serious trouble there. Chris Taylor still celebrating the goal that he got. But that's a very good finish. I think we played really well. A 3 0 result. Let's quickly have a look at the man of the match. Man of the match goes to Shane Ferguson, which is thoroughly deserved. He got an assist and he played really, really well. He would have got my vote for Man of the Match. Not sure how I feel about him at left back. But he had a fantastic game in that left midfield position. Uh, let's see who the goal scorers were. Two assists from Morrison, which was a surprise for me. <laughs> Passing and not, and not scoring himself. Gregory got one. Martin got one. And Chris Taylor got one. Fantastic first game, which is going to wrap up the episode, assuming we have no signing. So that was the first video on my channel. Be sure to let me know how you guys felt about it. It's really, really difficult to find something that um, you guys are going to like. I hope that you guys are going to like this. We're going to end with some training. Be sure to send me your feedback. Be sure to leave a like if you did enjoy it. If we can reach five likes, that would be truly fantastic for the first episode. I really hope you guys are looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to this journey. There are going to be some other series on my channel, including something very special that you will never have seen before, I promise you. So without further ado, that's it for me today. I'll see you next time.
Peace.